Well, Iran having nuclear weapons will have a negative effect and a very dangerous effect on the whole world order. This is not just a question about the Middle East, but the whole world will change. You will have uh, six, seven powers in the Middle East who will be nuclear in the most dangerous part of the world, and then other countries will follow through. So to prevent this is absolutely necessary. Unfortunately, only the United States can prevent it, and at the moment this administration is not willing to do anything that would either destroy it physically or convince the Iranians that it's a serious option so that they must give it up diplomatically without military action. So the real dilemma at the moment is, should Israel act alone or should everybody allow Iran to become nuclear? These are the realistic alternatives at the moment because the sanctions are not effective and they are not going to become much more effective than they are today. The dilemma for Israel is that on the one hand not doing it will have catastrophic results and on the other hand the United States is strongly against it and if Israel does it without the understanding of the United States there will be not only a clash between Israel and the United States but also the Americans will not follow through on what Israel will be doing. So we have a very serious dilemma. I cannot tell you how it will end. Because an agreement between Israel and the Palestinians will not happen. The Palestinians are not willing to accept the Jewish state. The Palestinians are not willing to accept the responsibility for a state. The Palestinians are unable to present a moderate, unified position. If it is moderate, it does not include Gaza. If it is unified, it cannot be moderate. So we will not have an agreement with the Palestinians. On the other hand, Israel staying there forever is bad for Israel. Having Israel and the Palestinians live forever in the same political entity is unacceptable because Israel is a democratic state and wants to remain Jewish and democratic and therefore we must get out of these territories. So, if the best option of an agreement is not available, the alternative must not be the worst option of staying there forever, but of doing something that is not good, but is much better than the worst option. And this is unilateral action. We've done it in Gaza. It produced more terrorism, I agree. But the Israeli society is much stronger without Gaza than the Israeli society is with Gaza. And in the same way, Israel, without controlling millions of Palestinians has a stronger society than in Israel that must control millions of Palestinians. So the fact that the Palestinians are irresponsible and not willing to accept the Jewish state should not stop us from doing what is necessary from a Jewish and Zionist point of view. Well, I'm sorry to have very sad predictions because what started and everybody hailed as the Arab Spring is playing into the hands of the most organized forces in the Arab world. And the most organized force is the Muslim Brothers and this is a very dangerous element, an element that is not pluralistic, cannot become democratic in its present form and I see in the Middle East more instability, more violence, more chances of confrontation than before and therefore a more dangerous environment from an Israeli point of view.